Hello, welcome to The Rundown. I'm Melissa Chirkop. And I'm Naomi McGarrow. Stay tuned for our first episode of this semester. First, the deadlines. Those of you deciding to live on campus next year, listen up. Housing deposit is due by Wednesday, March 1st. You must pay the $200 deposit in order to participate in room selection process. You can pay it through my rider, in person, or by mail. For more information, look out for those housing emails or go to Res Life in the BLC. For all the theater lovers out there, another event going on now through February 26 at 7.30 in the Yvonne Theater, including showtimes at 2 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, is the courtroom drama Inherit the Wind. This is a Tony Award winning drama which focuses on the initial trial of whether or not evolution should be thought in public schools. This is a top provoking show to correlate the present with the past but I cannot go into too much details or else I'll end up spoiling it. Another show that will be presented in the BLC Theater on Saturday, March 4th and Sunday, March 5th is a collaboration between Riders Dance Program and the all-male professional dance company, Ten Hairy Legs. For those of you who do not know, Ten Hairy Legs is a new dance company who are trying to change the way contemporary dance is seen. But again, some things have to be kept a secret. So in order to find out, purchase your tickets today. Also coming up this week is your chance to seek a possible job or internship. The Spring Career Fair is going to be held February 28th in the SRC from 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., which means there's your chance to meet with over 100 employers who can provide you with many opportunities that will fit your need. All you need to do is bring a few resume along with looking the part, which means dress to impress. Attention all cyber lovers out there. Beginning in the fall 2017, Ryder has an exciting new computer science program that will offer students education in computation and algorithms, along with computing skills needed for any work environment. Wow, that's great. Ryder is really stepping up their game. And speaking of game, it has been almost two weeks since Ryder wrestling coach Gary Taylor coached his last home match after 39 years. He ends his reign with over 440 career wins and was the first to lead Ryder to 14 conference championships along with bringing his wrestlers to be nationally ranked. With Taylor's departure, Ryder alumni John Hanji will take place as the third Ryder coach ever, which follows his previous 15 years as the associate head coach. Taylor paved the road for what is possible for the Bronx. Now it's up to Hanji to continue the path leading the pack. And soon after that, the Ryder swimming and diving team set two new conference championship records, along with the women taking home two first place finishes. Ryder men's totaling its sixth straight MAC championship with 840.5 total points, and women's 15th time in the second place since 1998. Speaking of MACs, earlier this week, February 19th, Ryder University's men's track and field became the 2017 MAC Indoor Champs. This is their first win ever in Ryder history, with a total team score of 149 total points, followed by the women's track and field, which came in second place with a total of 137 points. Not only was it a historic win for the Bronx, but Bob Hamer was also named 2017 Men's Indoor Track and Field Coach of the Year. Amazing! Congratulations are definitely in order. Another congratulation goes to our Ryder Musical Theater alumni, Colby Desilic, class of 2016, who has just landed his first Broadway role in the revival of Miss Saigon. The show is set to preview on March 1st, with Colby being in the ensemble and also the understudy for Chris, the lead role. Deslick is no stranger to the theater world as he has performed in previous Ryder musicals. We send him the best of luck. This concludes this week's episode of The Rundown. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.